Hey guys, Rocky Eastwood here. I'm at Messiah University in central Pennsylvania. I came, brought my bike to ride around this area and I found a covered bridge while I was out here. How about that? So we'll explore the covered bridge and we'll explore the countryside here in Cumberland Valley. And yeah, let's just ride around, have a good day. It's kind of a little bit cold today, not too bad. Yeah, let's check out this covered bridge and uh, yeah, some history here in central Pennsylvania. How about that? Built in 1867, just, uh, what, two years after the Civil War, and moved here in 1972. Very cool. Man, that is a beauty, huh? That is a beauty. Let me get some pictures, and then we'll get on the road and start exploring. But, wow, I love this. I love covered bridges. That was really cool, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe that's just uh, things old man think are cool. I think it was cool. Let's check out around this area. Check out all the places they got to sit, chill, and watch the river. Actually, I think this is the Yellow Breaches. I'm not sure on that, but I'm pretty sure this is the Yellow Breaches. But there must be a good view of the of the bridge over here. You can just make it out, but there's an opening over here. And uh, yeah, let me get my bike and let's go check out that opening. It's cool though, you can just chill and eat your lunch or relax and get rid of anxiety. Naturally, instead of taking Buse Bar. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this view has. I didn't bring my good camera today. Didn't think I'd be needing to zoom anything, but covered bridge. Oh yeah, this is the spot, huh? I know the GoPro is not the greatest in picking up things that are far, but wow, wow, wee wow. Let me take a picture and I'll add it here if it's nice. Man, how great is this? How great is this? Beautiful. Man, what a campus. Hmm? What a campus. That behind me is freaking gorgeous. Gosh. I wonder if that's the same train line here on my right that runs past my house, the Norfolk Southern. Let's cross over the tracks and see what's there. Yeah, what a great house. Smells like Christmas in here. Fireplaces going. Beautiful, beautiful houses. Gosh.
Doesn't get much more picturesque than that. Holy cow. Oh, am I glad I came over here. I wasn't sure, but beautiful. A gentleman just pulled up and thought I had a flat tire or something. I was like, no, I'm just admiring the view here. And he talked about five minutes and he told me that a bald eagle fishes right here in the mornings. Boy, would I love to see that. So nice too. People in Pennsylvania are so freaking nice, man. So nice. I, I really love that. They say the old American way of life is not alive anymore. It's not true at all. Not at all. People are so friendly. Man, is this a hidden freaking spot. Hear that rooster just crowing over here? Jeez, I found heaven in the middle of the woods next to Messiah College. Jumped in my car after my bike ride. Wanted to see what else there is out in this area. The other way, the way opposite way where I rode my bike so I can come back and maybe explore someday. Anyone who says Pennsylvania is not gorgeous is freaking nuts. First thing you think of Pennsylvania, you think of Philadelphia. That's one city. What about the rest of the state? Huge state. Historic state. Man, I am discovering Pennsylvania. And I am discovering it quite possibly could be the most beautiful state. It's in the top three, I'll tell you that. Excluding politics and all of that, just nature, nothing man-made, just nature. Pennsylvania is hard to beat. And this is from an outsider. I'm not from Pennsylvania. Besides this month, nine months that I've been living here on the west shore of um, go ahead. On the west shore of, uh, sorry, I had a four-way stop there. On the west shore of Harrisburg, the west shore of the Susquehanna River. Um, the only time I've ever been to Pennsylvania was when, when I took a trip to Gettysburg. Now that I'm in here and witnessing Pennsylvania, central Pennsylvania, I still need to check out, you know, northern Pennsylvania and western Pennsylvania and Eastern Pennsylvania for that matter. All I really know is Central Pennsylvania from the Mason-Dixon line up to, I think the farthest north I've been was around State College. So I really haven't seen that much of Pennsylvania, but the parts that I have seen have been, boom, mind blowing. And I got here in the spring, so I saw spring and I saw summer, which was a lovely summer, not humid at all. At least 2023 summer was not. And now winter and I don't know, is it going to get worse than this? I don't think this is bad at all. I'm still out here riding my bike. I didn't even wear my gloves today. So I'd say today was about 40 degrees. I know it dips into the 20s sometimes, but we haven't got any snow. And besides Pennsylvania being beautiful, the people are just freaking cool, man. I have not met anyone that I didn't like. I haven't met any locals that I didn't that I didn't like. Everyone's like so kind and so nice and like down to earth. Like everyone's just salt of the earth, man. Just like good people. Good strong people. 
strong-minded, good Americans. American flags flying all over the place. I was gonna do a video and count how many American flags were down the street, like the little uh, bike route that I ride. Usually it's about like a five mile route around my house, around my neighborhood. Just when I don't have a lot of time at lunchtime, just jump on my bike. I must see a hundred American flags. And I love that. At this day and age where people are just, but we won't go there, but let's just say I love that. If the American flag hurts your feelings, I don't play that shit. I won't stand for bad mouth in Pennsylvania. This is my adopted state. I've been here now almost a year. And when a year passes, I'll be proud to say I'm a Pennsylvanian. Damn right. It's a great state. I'm a big fan of Penn State, Nittany Lions football. I love the Susquehanna River, the mountains that run through, coming from the Shenandoah Valley to the South Mountain, into the Cumberland Valley, the Appalachian Trail. Gettysburg is freaking one of the greatest places on earth, historic. Um, not too much to even describe right here in this little short spiel, but I guess all that rambling just to say I freaking love Pennsylvania, baby. And why there's another place I'd rather be in the world right now, one other place, if I had to be anywhere in America, if I had to be anywhere in America, I'm glad I'm right here in Pennsylvania.